name? Hello, uh, my name is Catherine. I work at Politico, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the sexiest topic of all, accessibility. Um, so three points, what's accessibility, why it's important, and a little bit about how we implement it um, at Politico. So what is accessibility? Um, web accessibility is the premise that all websites, digital tools, applications should be usable and navigable by all users, regardless of their ability. So every person under the sun should be able to access a website and utilize it in the same way, according to this principle. Um, so expanding on that a little bit, um, DEI principles are really big in accessibility. So number one, design your applications with inclusivity in mind, make sure that everyone has equal access to being able to use it. Um, in order to do that, you need to remove barriers for people of diverse abilities and needs. And we want to strive to provide equal access to information and services. Um, so some examples, um, two that are really big in the web development community, visual impairment and mobility issues. So visual impairment isn't just someone that's a non-sighted user. It could be like if you're outside, it's super bright, or you're on your phone or your tablet instead of a computer. Um, all of those things are encompassed in accessibility issues for those with visual impairments. So that includes being able to navigate a website using the screen reader, um, maybe tweak designs based on if you're on a big computer or if you're on a small phone, you all know like the dev tools, how you can go into like look at different devices. And then sufficient color contrast is also important. And I like that it is the word sufficient is by the teal because you see how difficult that is to read. So that is not an accessible color contrast. Um, mobility issues, um, maybe someone can't use a mouse or maybe they're lazy like me and wants to tab around the website. Uh, websites that are accessible should have that capability to be able to navigate it using both a mouse and a keyboard um, so that a wider variety of users can access your product. Um, why is accessibility important? Essentially, it's just the right thing to do. Everyone deserves equal access to all products. Um, we can't develop, well, we can, we shouldn't develop with just one subset of people in mind. The more people that you allow access to your website, the more users you have and the more successful it is. Um, but we all know we live in the capitalist society, so you have to make your business justification to be able to work on um, accessibility bugs and features instead of just being a feature factory. Um, so one, you pioneer new ideas and technologies, um, things like Siri, and then I don't know the name of it, but like when you record, like you're texting somebody and then like it types it out for you. I know that has a name. I don't know what it is. Um, all of those things were developed initially for those with disabilities, but those are things that we all use today. Um, also brand enhancement, um, your corporate social responsibility. If you put an emphasis on accessibility, it shows that you care about the principles of diversity, equity, inclusion. You want everyone to be able to access. Um, and it also bolsters brand perception and credibility. Um, if you show that you are committed to these values, then you're just a good person and people like good people. Um, probably the most two most important ones have to do with money. Um, if your website is accessible to a greater number of people, you just get more users. And if you have more users, if you're like a subscription based or B2C, B2B, whatever it is, you'll get more money. So essentially that is for the finance people that just look at the black and white, look at the books. Um, also the minimization of legal risks. People are getting sued out the wazoo for not having accessible websites. If y'all have done accessibility work, you know that it might not be the most glamorous work but it's better than getting sued and your company losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, so a little bit about how we do accessibility at Politico. Um, we have a dedicated quality assurance QA team. Um, so the QA team and the developers will get together while we're refining tickets, refining designs, and we'll identify like, hey, this might not be the most accessible. Can y'all go back and like tweak this design? Can we tweak this AC? so that we can try to overcome those issues before we even get started developing. So it just saves everybody time. No one in here likes changing requirements in the middle of the uh, software development life cycle. Um, we also have a dedicated QA tester that just does accessibility. He is phenomenal. He's a pro. He goes through and he just focuses on that, not functionality, just making sure that our website is accessible as possible. 
And we also try to incorporate four to six uh, accessibility tickets into each sprint. Sometimes that doesn't happen if we're trying to churn out a big feature or if things are just pressed for time, but we always try to get um, a few in there. And because of that, we uh, received the level 2A, double A, um, in our VPAT in December, which is what you want to. There's three levels, A, double A, triple A. Triple A is like kind of impossible for a website. I mean, it's not impossible. You can do it. But our website is huge and we have a lot going on. So we have a level double A. Um, and then earlier, uh, with the other accessibility talk, she talked about the web accessibility guidelines. So I will not go back into that. And that is all. Thank you.